words, there is a mindset that the media attempts to give us. There is a mindset that the educational system attempts to give us. Our sociological atmosphere, cosmos, our social system. As you interact with people, there are mindsets that are proposed to you every day. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit brings us to a point where He grants us grace to refuse to conform to those mindsets. Because you see, a mindset is a pathway. It leads you somewhere. When you follow a mindset, it leads you somewhere. That's why when a medical student comes into the university, for instance, he begins to adopt a mindset. And after six or so years, the mindset leads him somewhere and the university awards him and calls him a doctor because he has been able to be cultured to think and interpret things from the perspective of a doctor. No matter what God wants to do in your life, if your mindset has not been trained to partner with him, you can never become it. The Bible says in Psalm 78, he said they limited God in the wilderness by saying, can God make a way? So a man can limit God with his mindset. So when we talk about the subject of success, for many people, the first thing that comes to their mind is how to make money or how to become famous. But that's really not the issue because successful people are successful because they have a mindset that perpetually leads them to the path of success. Poor people, failures, and those who do not do well, the lower echelons of life, are there because of a mindset they have adopted and have endorsed it by culture, religion, and their levels of exposure. So when you come into the presence of God, among the many things he does is to begin to, in light of God's word, open you up to a higher reality than that which you have perceived. And then it's now left to you to partner with the Holy Spirit to say, Lord, I, I see that you are calling me higher and I choose your way, I choose your value system. And the Bible lets us know that the end of it is peace. You will begin to see a performance, a manifestation. Say Amen.